Hi, I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here at DevOps today interviewing um, Garrett Grunwald and with um, my host, my co-host, uh, Jim Weaver. So Garrett, tell us a little bit what, you, what do you do? So yeah, I'm uh, working for Canoe Engineering in uh, Switzerland as a software developer. I'm mainly interested in doing graphic stuff like uh, these gauges that I show in my talks. And uh, yeah, everything visual is something that I'm interested in, running on Java, of course, so, and JavaFX especially. I also did some Swing development in the past and HTML5 development, but most of the times it's related to custom controls. That's what I'm doing mainly. So how much JavaFX do you use today? 100%. <laughs> All the time. Wow. That's, yeah. Deserves a applause. Yeah, it's really, uh, I, I do a lot of JavaFX because it's, uh, I know, you know, I came from Swing, and I felt all the pain, it was really painful. So um, then I was searching for something new. I tried HTML5 with Canvas and JavaScript and I liked it a lot, but in the end it doesn't work for me. And then uh, two years ago, Oracle came up with JavaFX based on Java and they convinced me to try it out and now I'm completely infected. So I try to evangelize everybody, use JavaFX, it's, it's great. So I'm a desktop guy, no server-side development for me. <laughs> So you had a um, you had a little presentation yesterday. Yeah. Can you tell a little bit what what it was? Yeah, it was also something that is new um, from Oracle now. JavaFX on embedded devices, and uh, they showed it at Java One, and I saw that stuff. And it's um, I talked to the guys if I would like to do that. What should I buy? And they told me, yeah, you should buy the Beagle board and some special LCD display. And I bought all that stuff and tried to keep it running, which took some time but now it's uh, it's running and I show it on conferences to show the people what is possible with JavaFX on embedded devices because most of the people don't get it mm -hmm. they say JavaFX it's all this fancy hinky blinky stuff on the desktop so why do you need it on a, a device like this of this size but it makes sense if you have this displays for example the Oracle showed some of these uh, displays here in front of the of the rooms where you can for example get your, your calendar or your scheduler, something like that, or you can, you know the displays from airports or train stations. And uh, for stuff like this, which is running on Windows CE right now with big machines, you can use uh, hardware, which is just 35 bucks, like the Raspberry Pi, and do something like that, which is really good for the industry, right? And you can use your existing Java developers doing that stuff. So that's a big advantage, I think. I know you have a tight time frame. You're going out, yeah. you're going into a session. I just, I did want to convey my appreciation for the session that, that you and I co, co yeah. uh, created uh, and delivered yesterday. It was actually a three-hour university yeah. session. It was a lot of fun. And so, and you you presented uh, some of the UI control yeah. work that you did. You also. Uh, presented lambdas, lambda expressions, yeah. and how we can use lambda expressions to simplify exactly. uh, the uh, the events mm -hmm. um, when we when we get into Java FX8, as well as the Beagle board. Now, what's your session uh, today going to be about? Today, I just have a quickie, which means 15 minutes, and I will talk about custom controls in general. So, just uh, it's really 15 minutes, and I will tell a story about one custom control that I implemented in Swing, HTML5, and Java FX, and we'll show them compared to each other and just to make let the people know that everything's possible. Okay. Now Garrett Garrett co-leads the JavaFX community with me. Yeah. And um, and and the reason why it works so well is as you can tell Garrett is so enthusiastic about JavaFX. And I, I feel like one of the reasons why and Garrett's expressed this is that we just like to have fun. As developers yeah. with JavaFX it's becoming fun again. And so that's one of the things that, yeah. that attracts Garrett to it and, and why he's so... Uh, Yesterday, uh, Jim said it in the right words. Geeks just want to have fun. Right. And, and that's I, exactly what it and, is. And so then we broke out into the Cindy Lopner song. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should let Garrett go to his session. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank you so okay. much oh, for joining us. Thanks for having us. me. So thank it was you. fun. Okay, thank, okay. thank you for joining thanks. us.